Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary. Of biblical and secular historical literature, so enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. In this episode, we would like to talk a little bit more about the history, archaeology, and anthropology of Europe, the Middle East, and North Africa, and how Sir Arthur Keith discovered ancient black man of Palestine. Evolution is unproved and unprovable. We believe it only because the only alternative is special creation. And that is unthinkable. A quote by Arthur Keith. Arthur Keith. Sir Arthur Keith. Born the 5th of February, 1866, and died January 7th, 1955, was a British anatomist and anthropologist and a proponent of scientific racism. He was a fellow and later the Hunterian Professor and Conservator of the Hunterian Museum of the Royal College of Surgeons of England. A leading figure in the study of human fossils, he became president of the Royal Anthropological Institute. The latter role stimulated his interest in the subject of human evolution, leading to the publication of his book, A New Theory of Human Evolution. And this is the face of ancient black man of Palestine. This discovery was remarkable because the history of the anthropological studies and archaeology from the digs, excavations in Europe, the Middle East, and North Africa verifies the history of the Bible completely. New York Times article dated August 4th, 1932. Bones of Cannibals, a Palestine riddle. Negroid people of 5000 BC, unlike any modern race, described by Keith, Sir Arthur Keith. They ate bodies of enemies, men short of stature. Burnt bones of dead after burial. London Sessions hears. Teeth of women. Drawn, linking relic to burnt skeletons from Ur of the Chaldees. Scientist speculates on old cremation custom. Here we have a picture of Mount Carmel Man, another name for black man of Palestine. But before I read more into the article or read the article itself, I want to give a little background context on this story because these are our biblical and historical ancestors and their story deserves to be told. Mount Carmel, Mount Carmel is a coastal mountain range in northern Israel, stretching from the Mediterranean Sea towards the southeast, 
A number of towns are situated there. Most notably, the city of Haifa, Israel's third largest city, located on the northern and western slopes. And here is a photograph of Mount Carmel, located in Israel. Etymology. The word Carmel has been interpreted to mean garden land or vineyard of God. And here we see a map of the modern state of Israel. And located in the northern region of Israel is the city Haifa. And Mount Carmel is located in that region. As part of a 1929-1934 campaign, between 1930 and 1932, Dorothy Garad excavated four caves and a number of rock shelters in the Carmel Mountain Range at El Wad, El Tobon, and El School. Garad discovered Neanderthal and early modern human remains, including the skeleton of a Neanderthal female named Tabon One, which is regarded as one of the most important human fossils ever found. The excavation at El Tabun produced the longest stratigraphic record in the region spanning 600,000 or more years of human activity. The four caves and rock shelters to Boone, Jamal, Elwad, and School together yield results from the lower Paleolithic to present day, representing roughly a million years of human evolution. There are also several well-preserved burials of Neanderthals and Homo sapiens in the transition from nomadic hunter-gatherer groups to complex centenary agricultural societies is extensively documented at the site. Taken together, these emphasize the paramount significance of the Mount Carmel Caves for the study of human culture and biological evolution within the framework of paleo-ecological changes. So the official statement of 600,000 or more years of human activity would seem to back up the human evolution but if you carefully study the anthropological records you will actually come to a different conclusion this was written within the modern framework of evolution but there's certain ideas certain discoveries that will make even the casual reader doubt the complete truth of what is being revealed. As we will come to see, this history, this find, this discovery actually debunks evolution and supports the biblical history. Mount Carmel and Mount Carmel Man in this area skeletal remains of a people group that occupied this region was found in this area. And here we have a map of Europe 
in the Near East, in parts of Central Asia. Distribution of the Neanderthal and main sites, including Tubone Cave, 500,000 to around 40,000 BP or before present era, because this is how the scientific community deals with the question of evolution. It totally wipes out any idea of a biblical timeline. So BP before present will be used within the scientific community instead of BC or AD before Christ or after death. So this whole area, the colored area, would be the areas where Neanderthal man lived, or as Arthur Keith profoundly admitted, Negroid people or Negroid group of people. So this is an important idea that is being proposed. So from Europe, the Near East, and Central Asia would be the habitation of this continuous group of Negroid or Neanderthal people. Anthropological research has revealed that the same physical types that inhabited ancient Europe lived in Israel, the Middle East, in ancient times. Now here we have an image of ancient man of France on the left. And on the right, Mount Carmel man, ancient man of Israel. And to further verify that fact, we could turn to the book Ancient and Modern Britain by David McRitchie, a Scottish historian. I shall be inclined to look among the Papian races of New Guinea, which is located in the South Pacific, and New Holland for the nearest allies or relatives of men to whom the shell mounds of Europe once belonged of Australia to New Caledonia and finally in Tasmania. These men once lived in Europe and when they excavated the shell mounds or shell middens of Europe these are the skeleton remains of who they found. Men with dark skins and woolly hair. This is an image of a man from Tasmania. The type of man that was found in the graves of ancient Europe. The skeletons of Tasmania type men are found in the shell minutes or mounds of Europe. The first inhabitants of Europe were known biblically as the children of Japheth. To understand the mind of the evolutionist, let's turn to the book, The Races of Mankind by M. Nesturk. The Tasmanians, who became extinct in the 19th century, also belonged to the Melanesian group of types. So Tasmanians were also classified as Melanesians. Some reactionary scholars placed the Australian Aborigines very low down in the scale of types. Because of scientific racism, Australian Aborigines 
was regarded as a low type of man. Scientific racism. They were regarding or regarding them as something like Neanderthalers. So when they found men who look physically like Aborigines of Australia or Tasmanians or Melanesians, these men were classed as Neanderthals. So Tasmanian types in the scientific evolutionary framework were not called Tasmanians or Aborigines. They were called or classified as Neanderthals. Not only Tasmanians, but Negroid people in general. The Negroid great race this race is also called Negroid Asteroid, Afro-Asian or Equatorial. The following are its typical features. Dark skin, hair and eyes. The hair of the head is in tight spirals or woolly or is wavy. So these people had woolly or tight spiral hair, or wavy hair. The race takes its name from the dark pigmentation of the skin, hair and eyes, Latin, Niger, equals black. So they were also classified under the terms Negroid Asteroid and Equatorial and Niger. And these are what the scientific evolutionists called Neanderthals. But biblically, they were people of Japheth, of Europe, and people in the Near East. But we'll go more into their identities later. So, under the anthropologist's categories it continues the asteroid or oceanic because you can find these people in the pacific area south pacific the asteroid or oceanic race constitutes the eastern branch of the negroid great race some of the asteroids, for example, those of the Solomon Islands in the South Pacific, are so similar to the African Negroes that even anthropologists experience difficulty in distinguishing them. So, the asteroids were compared to African Negroes. As far as anthropologists, was concerned it was the same physical type and here is an image of a Tasmanian who also was classified under the term Negroid so Japheth was classified under the term Negroid in Europe in ancient Europe and so was ancient man of Palestine, classified as Negroid by anthropologists. They also used the term Neanderthals to describe these early inhabitants of these lands, who biblically were the children of Noah who survived the global biblical flood. So these are our ancestors. And when I mean ours, I mean all the different ethnic groups that live today. Rather, they are Chinese, 
Japanese, Europeans, Eskimos, Native Americans, Africans. These are our early ancestors. So now we have a little background knowledge and history of what this New York Times article really means. Bones of Cannibals, a Palestine riddle, a Negroid people of 5000 BC. These people were cannibals because they were the inventors of religious rituals, the inventors of cities, civilization, writing, technology. They were Negroid people. They were considered or classified as Neanderthals or Astroloid Negroid people. Unlike any modern race described by Sir Arthur Keith, they ate the bodies of enemies. After the flood, there was strange religious rites and rituals that the people started to practice. Short of stature, they burned bones of dead after burial. London session hears teeth of women drawn Lincoln relic to burnt skeletons from Ur of the Chaldees. These people who could be traced from France to Palestine were also living in Ur of the Chaldees in Mesopotamia. Scientists speculate on old cremation custom. This is the beginning of the customs and traditions of what modern men practice and follows today. More in the next episode.